What is up everybody? It's your boy back at it again with another video. Bang! Well, we have a video in front of us today being black in Germany. Um, obviously, I am an African American person. And I would just like to know what it's like living in Germany as an African American person. Now, I've already watched videos on it, and from what I've gathered, it's literally way, way better to be black in Germany than it is being black in America. Um, yes, everywhere you're gonna have racism, literally everywhere. Like, there's not a crack crevice in the world that does not have a smidge of racism in it. I know that. Now, um, you know, it, it just seems like uh, obviously Germany's a, a pretty big melting pot. It has a huge, 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 huge population of mixed people, and uh, so does America. But I feel like the way people handle things over there is is a tad bit better in a lot of ways, and in some ways it probably not, might not be. So um, I watched a video from Soldier of Life, uh, his perspective on being black in Germany, and it actually had really good feedback. Everybody agreed with it. I read the comments; people were in agreement with it. Now this video, uh, this is off of. Kira, Kira uh, Ariel's page, and I don't know, man. Uh, it, it, it looked like it, it got 35,000 likes, but it also got 12,000 dislikes, which means I feel like she uh, she's victimizing herself in this thing. I don't know. I, I can't say if she is or not, but that's why I'm watching this video. This video was sent to me uh, by a few subscribers and stuff, just like the Soldier of Life video was. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and break this down. I'm very curious to see what the culture is like in Germany. You guys already know, and we've been getting a lot of German subscribers, so uh, it, it's 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 pushing me to do even more of this kind of content because it shows that you guys really appreciate what I do, and um, it, it's cool and it's simple. Like what I do is uh, I I basically commentate on videos that people have made on Germany so far, and I also react to literally everything. So it's not just German. German stuff. I do react to uh, countries from all around the world. It was Serbia for a long time. It was Croatia for a long time. It was Korea for a long time. UK for a long time. So we bounce around a lot, quite a bit. So uh, do yourselves a huge favor if you want to become part of the community. Like, comment, and subscribe. And join our Discord if you want to teach me some German. Serbian, your native language, or if you just want to talk to me and play some video games and stuff like that, because I think it'd be pretty chill at the end of the day. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive nose deep into this thing and see exactly why this video got 12,000 dislikes, because that's that's a, the like to dislike ratio is kind of, whoo, it's kind of neck and neck almost, man. Let's, let's, let's see. And you guys need to do something for me. Comment down below and let me know if this is accurate information or if she's over exaggerating or whatever and i'll, I'll comment myself too so let's 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 do this if another german person asks me can eat the haben bell ah shit it's one, it's one of these man if one asks me all right let's go nine nine no, no sis you can't Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Kira Ariel, and thanks for being here. So today I'm gonna talk about being black in Germany, y'all. So if you know me, you know that I live in Stuttgart, Germany. My dad is currently serving in the military and we just here living it up. And I am in love with this city. I'm in love with Germany. I love everything about Europe, but there's some things that kind of irritate me. And there's some things I've noticed that I have to go through for being black, <laughs> literally. Now everything's not bad, everything's not good, but these are kind of what I go through on a regular basis being black and American in Germany. So I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from, you guys can kind of see how my life is going here, and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started. Okay. Why did I just snap? Now I wrote down a list on my phone, so let's just go through the list guys. So the first thing on my list is the stairs. <sighs> That's number one. Number one before we get to anything else. You will get stairs everywhere you go. It does not matter. It does not matter if you in the church. I feel like you would get stairs uh, outside from being just black, right? I feel like you get stairs in general if you're like not from that country. You know, like if I, I, I and I think the stairs are probably coming from like, let's say I start stop talking English, right? Like American English, like really, really like American. Like, hi guys, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And I think people would start looking at me like, what the heck? I'm like that dude must be from America, just based on how you conduct yourself. I think it's a variety of factors, but I can see what she's talking about. But I feel like it's not just for being black. I feel like it's just for being foreign, you know. Like, and I'm pretty sure a lot of foreigners get that too. You can let me know in the comments down below. It don't matter if you're in a grocery store, the mall, just walking down the street. 
people are going to stare at you. But I don't think it's a rude thing. It's more of a curiosity thing. You know, they want to understand, you know, why is this black girl on my train right now? I don't know about that, Chief. I don't know about that, Chief. I don't know. I haven't been to Germany, so I don't know. But you guys let me know in the comments down below, man. It's it's just curiosity and most of the time they're they're staring in admiration i feel like you know they're just looking yeah. at you like oh my gosh like this person doesn't look like us so yeah guys yeah. that's pretty much the that's biggest thing about living here is people are going to stare at you everywhere you go and most of the time they're not going to say anything to you they're just going to look at you so i wouldn't take it as a bad thing i haven't taken it as a bad thing but cool. when i first got here i was like man like is there something on me like what why are they looking at me <laughs> but now i'm just like hey Yep, the only black girl in the room coming in. Y'all just keep on looking. Everybody just look this way. So, <laughs> that's the first thing. Right, that's, that's funny. So, number two about being black in Germany is I kind of feel like people, like, have a fetish for black people. <laughs> that is true. And I feel like that's globally. That's not just, that's that's in America. That's in uh, Korea. That's in Germany. That's in Serbia. That's in uh India, bro, I, black people are fetish, fetish, fetishized. Did I say that right? Fetishized. Seriously. And I, I don't think it's a bad thing, but damn, like, I, <laughs> it's crazy. Let me not say fetish, but it is all a little the bit. German people that not are everybody, running to but it's crazy. men, women, children, they, it's kind of like they love seeing black people. And not just black people in general, but like American black people. They love seeing Americans. Like, everywhere I go, like, they're, like, people, if they do come up to me, they just compliment my skin tone. They compliment my That's hair. Good. That's a they good thing. They compliment my accent. That's they a just good love thing. black people. That's a good thing. And I thing. remember, I, I remember one time I was walking down the street, and this man was this man screamed from the other side of the street. He was like, "You beautiful American black princess." Hey. And I was like, uh, "Not the yeah. show? Like, how do you how do you what do you say to that?" <laughs> I was just like, thank you, thank you. So I, I've got called American Black Princess. I've got called um, uh, African Black Queen. I'm not even African, but they they love black people to me. I honestly think they love black people. So, and a lot of guys, they, they come up to me and they try to get my number. They try to talk to me because I'm, I honestly feel like it's because I'm black. Like, they, yeah, I feel like it's deeper than it's that. It's something but. new, you know? Black people, there's not a lot of black people in Germany. There's Most of the time, you're probably going to be the only black person in that area, in that room, in that shopping center. It's probably only going to be you. That's so it, it's kind of like a new experience for them. You know, when they see black people, they want to understand. They want to get to know more about you. Mm -hmm. So Squad. it is not a fetish in a way. I just don't know another word to use. But... Well, what I said was fetishized, like, I feel like, and I'm not saying everybody does it. I'm saying, like, it, it, it's definitely a global, like, thing. Like, you know, people fetishize black people, like, you know, Americans fetishize Russians in a way, in a way. It, it, it's weird, you know? It, it's it's not a bad thing, you know? It's just, oh, cool, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's, 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 it's a proven thing. People have done it. And it's not bad. Like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. But, hey, you know, you know, get how you live, you feel me? <laughs> Okay, guys, and now we're on to number three, which is a huge thing that I go through all the time here. Oh, my gosh. Touching my hair. hair. So, everywhere I go, people ask me if they can touch my hair. It drives me crazy. It, it literally... Ugh. It doesn't matter what hairstyle I have. If I got a weave in my head, if I'm full-blown natural, if I have box braids. You know, people are so curious, and I don't mind at all. I don't mind. It, it kind of just gets annoying sometimes. And I think that happened, That happens to me in America, too. But in Germany, I, say, I think like, it, happens it happens more because they're not used to seeing it as much. They're not used to seeing the big hair and the weaves and, and the, the long box braids. And well, let me tell y'all something real quick. I grew up in Chicago, and I will tell you. Black women change their weave like men change hats on a sunny day. Okay. Okay. They'll go through like 12 weaves in an hour. <laughs> it's something serious, bro. I remember being at a Chicago bus stop and there was a whole fight happening, right? And I screamed because I thought I saw a fat ass rat on the ground. And it was somebody's weave that got ripped out and we just tossed on the ground. I'm just saying. And the colors, they're not used to it. So a lot of times people ask me questions about my hair or they ask me if they can feel my hair 
or how long does it take to do my hair i remember one time i went to the water park and i had these really long box braids they went all the way down to my butt and this guy he, he this german guy he thought it was my real hair and he was <laughs> like you know why why do you do your hair like that and and how long does it take and your hair so long <laughs> and i was like honey first off this some and she's like first off yeah, and rips that shit off okay. this is not my real hair second it took me forever so that's another question that i get a lot people people just want to know about your hair they're so that's curious fun. so that's a, that's a big thing that i also get is my hair being black in germany your hair is going to be a huge factor in your life <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so number four, which relates to the last topic we were on, is hair stores. Honey, ain't no beauty supply stores here. So you uh -huh. better get everything you need before you come to Germany. I was going to say the same thing. All right. <laughs> All right. That, that, that was a problem for a lot of people uh, when I was traveling. The only place I've ever been as an adult outside the country, Korea, uh, beauty supply stores and stuff like that. But actually, I think they had more there than they would have in Europe. And whatnot because there's a lot of military bases a lot of diverse people especially a lot of african-american people and stuff like that so you know what i'm saying so i'm talking your weaves i'm talking your cankalone your hair grease shampoo anything that you use on your head you need to get before you get here or you need to work on some really fast shipping because you're not gonna get it yeah so that's a big thing there's no hair stores that cater to black women that cater to black hair that can just work with me like i cannot be no offense y'all but i can't use white people shampoo on my head i'm gonna look a mess so make sure you get everything you need before you get here because you're not gonna find it sorry mm -hmm. like it's been times where i needed some weave and i couldn't get to it so we was just looking a mess and i had to wait two three weeks before my my weave can get here or my bundles can get here hey, and that's like just that, that's just a part of living here but once you figure out your shipping situation, once you figure out how to get your hair from point A to point B, you'll be good, okay? Mm -hmm. So yep, number five yep, yep, is yep, a major yep, yep. thing about being black in Germany that you will notice as soon as you get here. There are no makeup products for, for your skin tone. People. I am a makeup lover. Yeah. And there's so many makeup stores here, but every time Online I go on one, shopping. Online no, nothing shopping. look like me. I honestly, sh I don't really shop in stores like that too much anymore, man. I get most of my stuff online. I feel like that's kind of the way to go now. It's it's fast, efficient. I'm pretty sure, I mean, uh, all, all my people who's watching this video, like, confirm if I'm right or wrong. But, I mean, do a lot of you guys online shop too? Or do you get a lot of your, like, clothes and stuff from, like, markets and whatnot? Let me know. I mean, I'll, I prefer online shopping. It's easier. Okay, there's no shades to match me. There's no concealers in my in my skin tone. Just nothing. And I can't even be upset because why would they have those type of products when they know they're not going to really make sales? Exactly. So I don't really get upset. Once again, I'm thankful to have the military affiliation so I can just go on base and get the products that I need. Hey, hell but yeah. if you weren't in the military, you would be stuck, honey, because <laughs> they ain't looking out for the chocolate girls here. <laughs> so there's no makeup products in my shade. Yeah, I can use the eyeshadows. I can use the, the mascaras, the lipsticks, lip glosses. But when it comes to skin and the concealers and the foundations mm -hmm. and being able to highlight and contour, you're not getting that here. It's nope. just not happening, sweetie. Nah. No. Okay, number six is another one that I noticed about being black in Germany. And... I honestly feel like we kind of get a special treatment <laughs> or maybe just the part that I live in. Being a young African-American black woman in a huge downtown area with other German men and German women that want to mm -hmm. get your attention, that want to be your friend, that want to get to know sauce. you. You kind of get a little, you know, a special <laughs> treatment or something, something. And what I mean by that is <laughs> okay. when I go out to clubs or bars with my friends, sometimes we get in free just because we look different from everybody Nah, or you get in free because you're a chick that also happens in america women get in free because they're women if you have uh you know the female parts you can get in pretty much anywhere for free because guys get horny and they want female attention and you know <laughs> i mean why wouldn't you want a girl in a bar with you you know and so to make it less likely that they'll say no to go in a bar they eliminate the cover charges and girls get in free guys have to pay 
that's how you keep the ratio at bay. <laughs> or we looking good in our little chocolate skin. And you know, the orange is bouncing off my chest. You know, I'm looking real fly with my big hair. I don't look like anybody. So you're know, like, yo, come in here. Like, let me see what you about. Like, yeah, there's been times where guys offered to pay for my meal and then everything. And I really felt like it was because I was black. And maybe this isn't true. Bruh. <laughs> I'm weak. She said sometimes guys offered to pay for her meal because she was black. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I know that's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. I don't care what none of y'all say. That's a damn lie. Nobody's going to pay for your meal because of your skin color. They probably thought you were attractive. That's Maybe that's, maybe that's why, you know? Like, what the fuck? But... From my personal oh, experience, I no. feel like being black here, you do get treated differently. And I've never been treated badly for being black. I've never had an incident where someone treated me differently because I was black in a negative way. When I get treated differently, it is in a in a nice way. Like Germans are Germans are extremely the young Germans are extremely nice. Nice. Not the old ones, y'all. Bro, the old ones I know that. That's another video. Yeah. But I get special treatment sometimes. Like, people will offer. So I guess she's kind of flopping. She gets treated bad, she gets treated good. But hey, everybody's experience is different, which is why we're watching this video. But y'all need to let me know in the comments, bro. my meals, or you know, they'll they'll let me in places for free sometimes. Just little things like that. And I, I believe, and me and my friends have noticed that. Female. It's yeah, probably you're... because of our skin. If a German- no, it's because you're a female. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Because you're female. And were to come in after us, sometimes she doesn't get the same treatment. And we've noticed that. So that's just something that, in my opinion, is because I'm black. <laughs> I mean, y'all might think otherwise, but hey, no free food for me. Okay, and the last topic I want to speak on is racial slurs and stereotyping. Now, I've never been called anything. Hmm, let me think. I Actually, mean, obviously, there are, like I said, there are racist people everywhere, everywhere. And, and, and America, I feel like, is like leading number one as far as racist shit, because America has some pretty racist fucking shit that happens here, like really fucking racist shit. I'm not going to lie. But uh, other countries have it, too, in their own regards. And it might not be towards like, you know, necessarily black people. It could be towards uh, other races of people. But like I said, everywhere you go, there's going to be a smidge of racism somewhere. I mean, if you if you look for it, you'll find it, as the saying goes, you know? Take that back. But I don't I don't think it was in a negative way. Y'all, okay, let me just, let me just. <laughs> she about to explain the N-word. Okay, so she about to explain all my German viewers that don't really understand this, you are not allowed to say the N-word. Dang. No, sweetie. No. Some of my German friends have, have called me that. And and they meant it in a friendly way. You know, it wasn't nothing crazy. And I and I politely say, you know, don't you know, don't do that. Up oh, nine. Don't do it again. <laughs> but I don't that's the only racist I don't think it's, it's racist. It's not not racist if you're not using it in a bad way, but it's just uncomfortable if you're not black. But for me, I don't personally care. If you're using it maliciously and I see that, then we got problems. But obviously, I feel like anybody can use it. It's just, you know, it's it's a chill word. It's a modern term, bro. But I don't know. That, that That's a heated discussion because I might be cool with it, but the next black person might beat you up. So <laughs> They didn't mean it in a racist way, though. But that's the only racial slur I've ever been called in Germany. And I don't think my German friends are trying to be rude in any way or they're trying to be negative or hurt anybody, but they just don't know. You know, social media and rap music and and TV and everything, all of these things that they see, they just, you like, know, they- Like, my question is, what do you guys do when you listen to the song, My Nigga? Like, do you guys, my, 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 like the fuck <laughs> you're gonna say it and you're not gonna mean it in a, a malicious way it's just the song you feel me like that's that's they don't know <laughs> like so that's that that's the only thing i can say about racial slur and what i want to say about stereotyping is most germans that i meet already have this set assumption about black women and african americans or black people in general from once again social media and the television and all these things that you see 
So when they meet me, they kind of, you know, they assume that I'm going to be loud or ghetto and I am kind of loud, but <laughs> I'm just, I'm they think just I'm saying. Gonna be loud or ghetto <laughs> and, and all of these things, you know, and the big hoop earrings and the big hair and, and snapping my fingers and chewing gum and you, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so they do kind of stereotype a little bit and it's, it's in no way harmful you know they're not trying to be mean and they don't mean it in a negative way but there's no black people here to show them any differently so there is a lot of stereotyping from what i've been introduced to you know from what i've seen there's a lot of stereotyping but you know once they get to know you and they've been around you it's different you know i've had people tell me like kira you, you ain't what i thought you was you know you ain't like the ones on the tv and i was like thank you that's with any race, that's with any person, you know. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't, sure. you know, don't automatically assume something about someone if you don't know. I had to learn that too moving here. You know, I had my set assumptions about German people. And as I started to know more Germans and I started to understand the culture, my eyes are different and my mindset has changed. So that, that that's anybody, you know. So yeah, guys, those are the main things about being black in Germany and what I go through on a regular basis. Most of those things aren't really negative at all actually just a disclaimer i am in no way shape or form trying to offend anybody at all i'm just giving my personal opinions on the things that i've been through living here mm -hmm. and if you feel differently you know that's fine everybody's different honey i can't i can't speak on everybody in germany because i am an african-american in germany there's also africans that live in germany that might have a different perspective true. on their daily life here. True, true. so i mean true. if you go through something differently than i've been through or you have any experiences or any encounters with people from germany or things have happened to you anything that you want to share tell me below in the comment bar because i would love to know i would love hey, to know hey, how your experience in hey, germany has been hey, being hey, black whether it's hey, african hey, or american hey. or you know even being from another european country so just let me know guys and thank you for watching so if you guys want to see more videos all right well that was pretty much it long story short i agreed with some of what she was saying as far as how people prob prob probably interact. I've never been to Germany, so I can I I can only give you my opinion. And then I disagreed with some of what she said. I agreed with some of it. I disagreed with some of it. You guys, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, further explain which some of the points she was talking about, uh, what she could have possibly been talking about, and stuff like that. And we'll kind of open up a discussion in the comments. But uh, hit me up on Discord. There's been a lot of really cool information I've been learning from a lot of you guys in Discord, man. And I'm gonna make a video on that today and post about it. Cause holy fuck. It is deep, bro. Like, I did not know these things about Germany. But anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications. And it's been a pleasure breaking this video down. Until the next time, see you guys again. Take care. Peace.